everyone, it's Maria from Maria Space here to show you some awesome children's magazines. You know, if you have that child on your list that you just don't know what to get, a subscription to a magazine is a wonderful option. Plus, magazines are great for developing literacy skills and knowledge of the world around us and our children. So I want to show you this one right here first. This is Baby Bug. This is for ages, um, whatever, under three, uh, zero to three. Uh, this is where you share the joy of reading. Really small for little hands, colorful pictures, little stories, easy for reading out loud to them. I love this book. I think this is such a great idea. And you can see really vivid colors. And there's all kinds of stuff in here. Ah! And you get to search for certain things in the issue, which kids love doing. My kids used to love it. And each story, if it has something on the back for the guide for caregivers, like the story just now, Let's go to the front for you. What's about this little, uh, this child and mom, it's called Kim and Carrots. Carrots is this little stuffed animal. And if you go to the back of the book, it tells you about the story. Something for parents and getting kids involved in chores and whatnot. So I love this right here. This is like a teacher's aid, but it's for parents. So that's great. Um, this one right here is Ladybug. Ladybug is for ages three to six, and it encourages playfulness and creativity, basically. Again, nice bright colors. We're getting out of the baby stage, so it's a little different. Uh, there's an eye spy over here. There's nice, colorful stories. The stories are a little longer. Paragraphs, a little more wording here. Still colorful, vivid pictures. Some poems and things and artwork for kids to look at. Really cute book, uh, magazine. Really cute magazine. This one tells you different things so that you can figure the story out on your own if you're a young reader or not reading on your own yet. Pictures. Look at this artwork, isn't this awesome? And a song. Another story. Just really want to show you the pictures and there's so much going on in these magazines in this back children get to cut things out and make their own book all they need is scissors stapler some yarn if they wanted pretty cool i love it spider is the next one up and it's for ages six to nine this is smart and fun it's uh, lots of inspirations for new readers you can see that the reading has changed and here the writing the story's a little longer there's still those vivid pictures to keep kids reading on the bottom, you can see some added stuff. Keep the story moving. Some things for them to fill in. Just flipping through so you can see what the pictures look like. Um, your tooth fairy. Some more fun stuff like this right here. Learning how to um, lace up your shoes differently in more fun ways. Cool no new fun ways. Some stories bringing the world around them things that they may not read otherwise over here you could see kind of like our old you know magazines when I was a kid I had highlights it's the same kind of thing I used to love reading this you know things that people sent in and there's contests so you can get your stuff in the book and I always wanted my things in the book they were never in the book uh, this is buggy ballot and this one right here opens up this way and once again, you're cutting out and then you're making the ostrich dance. It tells you what numbers to put in and then it's like a flip book. Really fun. All right. And the last one is Cricket, which is for our older kids, 9 to 14. You can see the magazine's changed a bit from our baby bug. Much different. Moving along. The story's a little longer. Still colorful pictures. The stories are a bit different, which is, you know, introducing them to different things. This one is about Greece and let's see. I was going to try to tell you what it was about, but I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to keep going. I'm just flipping some pages. There's a little craft. Build an arch Roman style. Pretty cool. Some rocks and some mortar. Moving on, some recommendations on books. Some stories about stone skipping. My favorite bird in the whole world. 
And as you can see, this is for our much older kids. The type is smaller. Some more. Math. Oh, not my thing, but a lot of kids like math. My son is a math kid. So. Story. Moving along. And there you go. This was their September issues and goes by volumes. These magazines are really great. Check out the rest of the review and I hope you liked it. Take care.